Welcome to Electron Online. We're going to start a series of math videos that will summarize all the things a person should know, a student should know, before entering high school. These are the things that you should know and understand well so you can do well and be successful in mathematics in high school. So where do we start? Well, there's so many things to start with, so we'll just start from the beginning, some basic concepts and understanding. First, we'll start with what we call comparison symbols. You should be familiar with the following symbols. A equals to B. A is not equal to B. A is less than B. A is not less than B. A is greater than B. A is not greater than B. A is less than or equal to B. A is greater than or equal to B. Here's some examples in all of these cases. When we see an equal sign, it simply means that the left side is equal to the right side. So 5 is equal to 5, or negative 3 is equal to negative 3. The two things on both sides of the equal sign are equal to one another. If we put a line through it, that means they're not equal to one another. 4 is not equal to 5, negative 4 is not equal to 8, negative 4 is not equal to positive 4. A symbol like this means that the number on the left side has a lesser value than the number on the right side. 3 is less than 5. Negative 1 is less than 4. Negative 3 is less than negative 1. Now this one in particular is sometimes hard to understand because it appears that the number 3 is bigger than number 1 but with a negative sign it means it's further to the left on the number line than negative 1 and therefore negative 3 is smaller or less than negative 1. When we put a line through it like that means that the condition is not true. 4 is not less than 2, negative 2 is not less than negative 8, and 3 is not less than negative 3. When the symbol is reversed in the other direction, then the number on the left side is greater than the number on the right side. So we say 5 is greater than 2, negative 2 is greater than negative 6. Again, that seems hard to imagine, but yes, negative 6 is farther to the left on the number line that negative 2 is, so therefore negative 6 is less than negative 2, that makes negative 2 greater than negative 6. 3 being a positive number is greater than negative 3, which is a negative number. All positive numbers are always greater than all negative numbers. If we put a line through it, then the condition is not true. 1 is not greater than 4, negative 2 is not greater than negative 1, negative 5 is not greater than positive 2. If you have a symbol where you have less than or greater than with a line underneath, that means there is an or condition. Either the number is less than or the number, the number is equal to. So in this case, since 2 is less than 5, this is a correct statement. Negative 1 is less than or equal to 4. Since it's less than 4, therefore this is a true statement. If you write negative 6, is less than or equal to negative 3, that's a true statement because negative 6 is less than negative 3. But what if the two numbers are the same? What if they're equal? Negative 4 is less than or equal to negative 4. So even though it's not less than negative 4, it is equal to negative 4. Therefore, if it meets one of the two conditions, it's a true statement. Therefore, negative 4 is indeed equal to negative 4. And even though the symbol says negative 4 is less than or equal to negative 4, the or says that is a true statement. Over here we have 5 is greater than or equal to 2. Well, since it's greater than, that's a true statement. 5 is greater than or equal to 5. Since it's or equal to, that means an equal condition is also true. 5 indeed is greater than or equal to 5. Negative 2 is greater than or equal to negative 5. Again, it appears to be a smaller number because it's negative, and negative 2 is indeed greater than negative 5 because negative 5 is further to the left on the number line than negative 2. And here, negative 8 is greater than or equal to negative 8. It is equal to negative 8, therefore this is a true statement because the or condition, it is negative 8 is greater than or equal to negative 8, so that's true as well. And that's how we interpret those symbols. And there's a quick review of the comparison symbols that you should be very familiar with. And there's our first video, many more to come in this category.